What's up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. It's been a second since I've done any video stuff. I'm a little sleep deprived because we have a brand new baby in the house, Oliver. So today I just want to walk you through uh, a typical day in the studio. So we just got done with a couple events. So we did the Art Wander, which is a self-guided tour in the area for local artists. And then we did the pottery event. And now we're back into like making mode, right? So we've sold a lot of pots in the past couple months. And now it's like, what are we gonna make? So on the list of stuff to make, we're gonna make some, we're gonna throw some mugs, we're gonna throw some bowls. Uh, we have a custom order for some beer steins for a local beer club. So we have to kind of go through a couple shapes and think about like how we want those to look. And then we're gonna do some marbled stuff. So that's kind of on the list of stuff to start today. Uh, if you're interested in any sales, we just came out with our fall and winter sales, our online sales. So this is the list of what those will be. And as always, I'm super happy to have you guys along. Let's get going.
All right, friends, so we got basically what I wanted to throw done today. So we got the mugs done, we got the bowls, then we got four different options for the beer steins, which I would be curious what you think. One, two, three, four, which one is your favorite? Uh, I'll run them past the the guy that's gonna order them, that's getting them for his, his beer club, and I'll see what he thinks. But I, yeah, I don't know which one I like. Or maybe there are none of them, maybe I should do something else, but. Uh, and then we got the marbled stuff. And as you probably noticed, if you watch this channel a lot, I kind of am starting to do my marbling differently where I don't just like start with one whole block of layered clay and then throw it. I actually get a white piece of clay on the wheel and then stick pieces of the colored clay marbled together on the outside. And that's for a few different reasons. When you have like a whole ball of clay, you end up hiding a lot of the colored clay. And the colored clay is, it's time consuming to make and it's expensive to make. So what I personally think, and I always end up glazing the inside of the pot and you just see the outside. So it's kind of a waste to have all that colored clay on the inside. So by sticking out on the outside and throwing it, then you can glaze the inside, show the outside, and you're like utilizing all of the colored clay. So it's kind of working out well. It also gives you a few different kinds of options. Like if you center the clay first and then stick on the colored clay, it kind of comes out slightly different design um, than the way, anyway. So anyway, I'm planning on doing a whole video about that in the future. So um, if you're curious about that, look out for that video in the future. So again, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you check out these dates, we will have Etsy restocks on johnthepotter.etsy.com, I think is the link that you can go to. So October 17th and then two in November and one in December. Um, we'll have a lot of what's up there for sale and then as well as what we were making today. So oh, I think that's it for this video. I'm trying to get back on the uh, making videos consistently game. Once you get out of it, it's kind of hard to get back into it, but let's do it, right? Let's do it. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, share, all the things, and we'll see you guys in the next video.